sexual like fantasies and shit like that. I met this girl, and she was, uh, I just met her at the bar, and she goes, her, one of her first things she said to me was, I'm really into, like, clowns. I'm really into clowns. Like, I just love a guy in clown costume. I'm like, oh, I was going to ask you your name, but uh, that's cool, too. I, I get that. You know? It's 2011. I'm not going to judge her, but there's things I'd like to know, like, what poor child's birthday party did you figure that shit out at, right? <laughs> at what point did Bubbles a Clown pop in here? Like, I want to fuck that clown. I really need to. Know. <laughs> yeah. Is there a moon bounce or something? Okay. But she asked me, she's like, so Tyler, like, like what, what, what turns you on? What does it for you? I'm like, well, you know, I really like a girl. I get turned on. Like, my little fantasy is a girl to be naked in my bed and just cool with it. <laughs> just like, cool with the shit, man. Because like, you, know? you always hear, like, like I heard this story about this person that was, like, into animals. Like, into animals. Like, that happens, I guess. Like, I feel that, I was, and I, I was thinking about it, I would feel so much worse if that person was into like an endangered species. Because let's be honest, it's way harder to find love that way. You know, imagine that person like, you know, like, <laughs> you, you'll get like, less of them out there, less endangered species, less chance for love. <laughs> imagine if you were in like the bald eagle, that's what you're into. Because how many of us have seen, a, have seen a bald eagle here? How many of us? A couple, good, yeah. But put in a position to capture it and fuck it. <laughs> Significantly less of us have been in the bald eagle fucking position, I can guarantee. I gotta imagine that person's getting real shit faced and selling for a lot of pigeons and shit. Just to <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna keep the show moving here. Another good friend of mine, Doug McKissel. Woo! Woo! Give it up to Tyler. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Randy's here too. They're like the Dr. Dre and Eminem of local comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I love Randy. I love this. <laughs> he's, he's, he's the guy that everybody pictures when they hear my voice over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm, I'm light enough to, you know, I'm, I'm dark enough, I guess, to like scare people at GameStop, but I'm still like light enough to be the bitch in jail. <laughs> so suck each other. <laughs> no, I'm mixed. I'm, uh, I'm half Irish and uh, it's... <laughs> the Irish get no respect, man. <laughs> It's not the front half, though, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no it, it sucks. So sometimes, you know, you get, you get black people that come up to me talking about white people not knowing my mother's white, and uh, I get Latin people that come up to me talking Spanish thinking I'm Puerto Rican. I get white people coming up to me with keys thinking I'm valet. <laughs> My mother's Irish, and uh, that means that she speaks fluent in backhand. She was awesome in every dialect. She could speak like the ninja one where you just see the hand come back and all of a sudden your lips bleeding. You know? She had the one where she could be driving the car, smoking a cigarette, and still catch you in the back with that one. That was good. And then she had the, uh, she, she was like a, a, uh, like a terrorist discipline. She was like awesome at it. She knew every, every style, like, like kung fu. She had the one where she would be like sitting there doing my sister's hair, you know? She'd be sitting there and uh, she'd be like, Doug, I need you to go do this or, uh, you know, undo my breath. So I think, I'm like, oh, fuck, I need this motherfucker. And she would just throw the brush right at me, crack me in the head, and then say, now bring that back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supplying the enemy's ammo. <laughs> and then she'd take your dignity because you gotta like try to run and hand it to her. <laughs> trying to stretch and shit, you know? <laughs> She would throw anything at us, but that was actually better than getting a beating because you had that opportunity to run while she was sizing up what would kill you and what would just hit you and crack your head open. So like, it'd be like, uh, not the TV, I'll miss Dallas tonight. You know, uh, not the best mom mug, that's just iron. <laughs> we 
just like, she would just end up picking up one of my sisters and tossing them. You know? <laughs> that sounds sad, I know, but my sisters would get like a get out of ass beaten card on their next number. You know? That was awesome. Uh, what else? I have, I have a girlfriend. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. She's uh, she's nine years younger than me. Um, it's awesome. I'm 35, so uh, it's kind of hard sometimes, like referencing celebrities. Like I have to reference them from the shows I know compared to the shows she knows. You know, like like Holly Be uh, Ho Holly Robinson. I have to say, you know, hang with Mr. Cooper's wife instead of the hot chick from 21 Jump Street. You know, or like Carlton. You know, I have, to, I have to say, you know, Carlton from Fresh Prince instead of the black dude from Silver Spoons. <laughs> only, the old, too old. only the old people get that. The tap dance. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I got more. <laughs> Mel Gibson from the Nazi party instead of Mad Max, you know? <laughs> Russell from nothing instead of Escape from New York. No, but uh, I have a. Uh, anybody have the pleasure of growing up with an older brother? Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't that awesome? Wasn't that fun? Being a test dummy for all the WWF moves and, <laughs> and you know, waking up, going to eat breakfast, and finding out it's open chest season. Boom! <laughs> Fuck! I checked out that it was duck season. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one I loved was, oh, this was the best, you know, where he pins you down with your hands there and he spits and let's get right there and boom, it comes right back there. <laughs> Just a little, boom, and it comes right back there. <laughs> but my mother, she loved me. I'd be screaming, Mom, why are you guys on me again? She'd come in there with both my sisters like nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's my time, people. Keep looking out for him. Uh, we're going to keep this show moving still. Uh, another friend of mine.